today we will be having Italian grilled cheese sandwich, buffalo chicken salad, turkey club wrap, french bread pizza, corn dog, soft shell tacos, nacho supreme, and unlimited fruits and vegetables. Attention seniors, before you head off on your senior class trip, we would like to reminisce through all the years with a senior slideshow. If you would like to share an image or two from your past academic experiences for the slideshow, send an email to Mr. Fearman. The email address you will want to use will be in the notes below. 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th graders, you need to make sure you've completed and passed all of your required classes before you graduate. Start the process by checking your transcript via Infinite Campus. If you have an issue, you need to talk to your counselors ASAP. Seniors, another message for you. If you're hoping to land a scholarship, you need to turn in all applications to the counselor's office by Thursday, April 19th at 3 p.m. Also, if a college is requesting an official transcript, we will recommend that you visit the counseling office, fill out a form, and put the address of your college you are planning to attend on the top of the form. All the All Night Grab Party Spring Flower Fundraiser is upon us. You can pick up your flower orders on Thursday, May 10th at the High School Loading Dock area from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Do you want to help and support the All Night Grab Party? You can do so by attending the taco dinner. All proceeds will go towards the grad party and are used to purchase a pile of great prizes awarded to the students for their participation. The taco dinner is tomorrow night from 4.30 to 7 o'clock on Main Street. The cost is $8 per ticket. The taco dinner will even have two go containers for people who are on the move. We hope to see you there. As some of you may know, the school board has selected a new superintendent for the District 882. Congratulations to the current principal of Eastview, Mr. Eric Olson. He will start his new position at the end of the 2017-2018 school year. In our next episode, we are hoping to have a sit-down interview with him, so stay tuned for that. Throughout the rest of the year, we will be highlighting some of the electives that we have to offer here at MHS. Coming up next, we have a video highlighting our high school bands made by Austin Larson. What are the bands called that you conduct here at school? We have the ninth grade band, and we've got a concert band, which is mostly 10th, but also 11th and 12th graders, and then our wind ensemble, which is mainly 11th and 12th graders. Is it possible for somebody that has never taken band class and no experience to take one of your band classes? If they get some experience beforehand. So if we can take some lessons beforehand just to get up to speed as to what's happening uh, as far as class goes so that they can feel more comfortable contributing to the class. Why should people incorporate music in their lives? I think music is uh, innate to a lot of what we do. We have music going on all the time and to be able to work at learning how to produce it individually can help you in enjoying it as you listen to it, but also in the, uh, the chance to work together and to collaborate and to uh, make music is a great opportunity that everyone should be able to experience. When did you join your first band class in school and why? I was in sixth grade. Uh, most of the kids joined in fifth grade, but I moved. Uh, it's one of my transitions in life uh, that I missed the time to start. So I started about a year ahead of everybody in sixth grade and had to quickly catch up to where they were, uh, but have been involved with music ever since. How is it to teach and interact with students in band and about their instruments? Well, that's the part of that I enjoy the most. And it's all about the kids and the opportunity to be a part of their lives and to, to share and collaborate and making music is it's why I do what I do. And it uh, makes it a, a joy to be a part of each day. How long do you plan on teaching band? Until uh, I can retire. So it's been 26 years and uh, I got a couple of, well, some more yet, yet before I, uh, I'm able to retire. When did you join to teach Monticello Band? This is my 12th year now. Uh, had a, a tragic accident of the, the band director before uh, us who um, died of a heart attack for quite suddenly. So it was tragic and how the opportunity came about, but uh, it's been a joy to live and teach in Monticello here. But uh, my wife and I love living here and love being a part of the community and being able to teach here is a joy for us. What's your favorite instrument? Favorite? Well, I play the trumpet, so I suppose that would be my favorite one. But I, I enjoy uh, all instruments and be able to uh, interact and teach and uh, learn about all of them. How has the band industry helped you in life or changed your life? In the sense of giving me a, a livelihood uh, would be how it's changed my life and then given me an opportunity to, to raise my family and to, to be a part of music making and to be a part of kids uh, 
in that process and uh, being a part of their lives and uh, sharing those experiences with uh, with me has been obviously life transforming and changing for me because that's uh, been my life's goal and passion as I um, have have uh, worked through it. So that's it. Great. That was awesome. Well done, Austin. <laughs>Hi everybody, Derek Swart, your friendly neighborhood yearbook advisor and English teacher extraordinaire. I'm here today to talk to you about how to record your senior quotes. This year, rather than having them written, senior quotes are going to be recorded and they will be linked to your senior photo. You'll be able to access these through an app called Erasma. Erasma is an augmented reality app and it will link your senior photo to your senior quote, which will be you talking to the world. You're going to come into the tech studio and they will record a 10 to 20 second long senior quote for you. Once that's done, we, the yearbook staff, will upload that to the Erasmus website and by the time the yearbook comes out, you'll be able to, if you have downloaded the Erasmus app on your phone, pull that sucker out, hold it over your senior picture and you'll see you and all of your classmates who have also recorded their senior quotes talking to you. They should stay school appropriate, but you do have a pretty wide latitude in what you can do for your senior quote. So start thinking about those soon. These are gonna be due by the end of April. So it is now April 5th. You do have a couple of days to get started on that, but find a time that works for you, whether it's a TA hour, an open hour, or if you can just get a pass from a teacher, come on over to the tech studio and they'll help you get your senior quotes recorded. Again, these are gonna be about 10 to 20 seconds long. If you have any questions, you can talk to me, Derek Swart, English teacher extraordinaire. I'm in room 228. You can talk to Mr. Fearben here in the tech studio, or you can just come on in and get your senior quote recorded. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you then. This summer, our fierce team of wrestlers and anyone willing to join the team will have an opportunity to participate in a three-day wrestling camp. It will be held June 12th to the 14th and will run from 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. each night at the Monticello Middle School in the pit. The cost is $69 per person and comes with a camp t-shirt. This camp is open to any wrestlers from 4th to 11th grade and anyone else who's interested in wrestling. You don't have to already be a wrestler to come to this camp, so come on down and see what wrestling is all about. For more information, head over to Mr. Thompson's room. Now let's jump into talking about spring sports. With the several snowstorms we've had and a lot of our spring sports have been had practices shuffled indoors and some of them, in some cases, canceled. That didn't stop our boys and girls track and field. The track team opened up their season on Thursday, March 29th in the field house and had a match just this last Thursday. So far this 2018 season, they've been crushing it. Great job everyone and keep up the great work. As of April 9th, all of the other sports should be underway. Good luck to everyone. Over our spring break at MHS, we and Ensemble went to New Orleans with the one and only Mr. Crumb. We hope you had a very fun and safe trip. Did you know that more than 50% of all our food products across the country go in the trash uneaten? At MHS, we are gearing up to do something about this. The food administrators have, are wanting to implement a new opportunity during breakfast and lunch. If you have something that is unopened, such as milk, cheese sticks, yogurt, and prepackaged fruit and crackers, we have to ask you to leave them at the sharing table. This is an attempt to cut down on food waste. Do you need extra help with math? If so, we have an opportunity for you. This Saturday from 9 to 11 a.m. at the high school in the media center, we are hosting our last math prep session of the year. Next Wednesday, we will have an early release. The school day will end promptly at 11.30 p.m., so make sure you plan your rides accordingly. Here is our last update with prom. On April 19th, it is the last day to buy your prom ticket. See Ms. Teagland in room 123 during B lunch or a after school to get a ticket. Remember, this is your last chance. Don't forget to mark this on your calendars. Prom is Saturday, April 21st at 4 p.m. The Grand March will take within the field house and the dance will start at 8.15 at River City Extreme. Make sure you dress your best. Do you need volunteer hours? We have the perfect opportunity for you. Eastview will be hosting a carnival for the elementary students and needs your help. This is a great opportunity for you to bond with the kids from around the district. We don't have the dates yet, but keep on the lookout on our Twitter page. If you have any questions, feel free to contact Miss Nye or Miss Switchin. Well, that's 
going to do it for everyone here at Action 24 News. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and follow us on Twitter. Till next time, my name's Bailey. And my name's Noelle. Signing off for Action 24 News. Have a great day, everyone. You, you, me, me, me.